hi again and welcome back to my channel so for today's video we will be having our discussion on our first lesson in ed3 and that is teaching science in primary grades or elementary grades for lesson one we will have our discussion about biology the science of life and for um, this topic, of course, we will be having the discussion on the nature of science. What is science? Um, what is everything about science? So firstly, science comes from a Latin word, scientia, meaning to know. It is a synthesized body of knowledge or information that aims to provide reliable information on different phenomena through experiment and observation. So in science, we will actually be discussing about what is um, the information or the knowledge that we can actually get when we do science. And um, we can actually do it with experiment and observation. Science is also an objective logical and repeatable attempt to understand the principles and forces operating in the natural universe so good science is not dogmatic but should be viewed as an ongoing process of testing and evaluation so when we say science it is more an objective part um we're in everything that is actually um, going on on our natural environment or natural universe are being explained by science it is logical and it is also like repeatable attempts so that doesn't mean that we already answered it with one experiment we will also be doing it again and again until we are able to prove that it is actually the fact or the true um, reason for that particular um, happening so the very nature of science requiring its conclusion to be based on evidences limits to its range of applications. Questions that do not lead to testable um, hypotheses are outside the domain of science. Thus, science cannot answer all categories of question. So um, that means that when we do um, our testing, when we do our um, experiments we are actually basing everything on our evidences and if ever for example we are doing our hypothesis but the hypothesis that we have is not really testable or we cannot do an experiment out of it so science could not really answer that kind of hypothesis so um, scientists always do their um, experiments in testing when it comes to the hypothesis that is um, already answerable or can be attainable. So um, there are things that we call the scientific method. So scientific method, um, even in our elementary years up until now college, we know that this is actually um, the method that we use in getting um, the answers on everything that we do. So scientific method is a process of or sequences of activities undertaken to gather information and to come to conclusions about the natural world. So when one deliberately engages in the scientific method, he could be I mean, motivated by mere curiosity or by just the need to know about the event or by the subject of his um, interest. So for example, anyone can actually use scientific method in getting the answers of their questions. Most likely, um, these questions are based on their curiosity on what is actually the um, beginning of this, like for example, a thing or a, a happening. So they use this scientific method. So he could also be driven by his desire to produce material that will be a source of economic gains. Making observa observations and gathering knowledge about a phenomenon, initial observation, recognition of a problem, and defining it, further observation, and expanding knowledge. So sometimes, um, scientific method is also used um, by people or individual who wanted to gain um, something out of it, like economic gains. For example, um, when they do it, they use this method. Um, first and foremost, observation or making observation and then gathering the knowledge about that phenomenon 
and then um, they will have initial observation, recognition of a problem, and then defining it. And then furthermore, they will do another observation and expanding the knowledge. So this is the steps of scientific method. As you can see, um, first and foremost, that's observation, then questions, and then hypothesis, results, and then conclusion. So observation, of course, um, when you do a scientific um, method, or when you use scientific method, you will actually be um, doing observations around, uh, around you or the things that you're actually curious about. So that in that way, you will have questions. What is this type of phenomenon? Why is this happening? So like that kind of question. And then you will formulate your own hypothesis or answer to that question. But for you to be able to prove that um, hypothesis, you need to do an experiment. And then you will get your result out of it. Once you have your result, then you can conclude if your hypothe hypothesis is actually correct or um, if your hypothesis is incorrect. So um, we use this careful observation. It can make one recognize that there is a problem or a phenomenon that is worthy of further attention and study. So just like what I've said earlier, um, we will do observation or careful observation wherein uh, we will need to check out if this phenomenon is um, or uh, if there is a need to do an experiment out of it. The next is formulation of a hypothesis. Just like what I've said earlier, when you already have um, those um, observation, you will actually get a question out of it and then you will be formulating hypothesis. Next is testing of hypothesis. In testing the hypothesis, this is called experimentation and conduct of further observations. So in studies or research studies, this is called um, the actual checking of information like engaging to the participants, engaging to um, their experiences on what are the things that is actually happening. Or in um, scientific method, like in observation, if this is like a thing, um, this will be the time that you will be actually having like um, in this one is the sample and then the other one will be the sample that we will be doing the experiment. So that's um, how it is being um, tested. And then next is um, mod models or representation of the actual object. It can be used in experimentation. It, this could be done through computer simulation or use of laboratory animals. So this is like the model that we are currently using when we do experimentations. Then next will be drawing of conclusions. So in drawing of conclusion, of course, this will be the time that we are able to gather all the information and data we needed and then um, based on the result we will have our um, conclusion analysis uh, if the hypothesis is actually supported or if not and then um, after that a conclusion is the end uh, first you know what is the conclusion of course the conclusion is the answer to the problem and based on a supported hypothesis so this is um, a progressive process such that the conclusion of one experiment can lead to the hypothesis for another experiment so usually um, scientific method or doing a research is actually um, not just for one um, answer when we already have a conclusion, another study will actually come out of it from that hypothesis. Okay. All right. So um, that is actually the end of this um, study for this part one since um, the lesson one of this topic is really kind of long. So I've decided to do it two parts. So this is the part one and then the other part will be um, discussed again later on so wait for that so again um right now we have just discussed the nature of science and scientific method so once again this is mom Irish, your instructor for ddosc and have a great day bye for now